Hey everybody, Ronaldo Offerman with our KS Video Manuals. And today I just want to show you a quick mapping uh, just of my bedroom, just to show you again how easy it is to map. So let's go ahead and fire up Grand VJ. Now remember for this, you're going to need the XT plugin. I'm currently running 2.0.3. If you're running anything past 2.0 XT, you'll be able to do this. I'm going to go ahead and just do last which is the last project that I had. And let's go to un open up our mapper. And the mapper pops up. So we have the mapper. And I'm going to go ahead and full screen it, just so you can see there, or as we draw. I'm going to go ahead and let's say we're going to map the top part here. Now, my first thing that I'd like to do is maybe just map around the door. And I want to make sure that I go into my edit grid, because I do want this to be as close as possible. Now you'll see there is a skew of the projector because it's not keystone correctly. But we're going to later correct this. One of the things I want to do is I'm going to map just the walls, just the wall of my actual room. I'm going to map around the TV, map around the frame. I'm just going to leave them named surfaces. Now we're going to open it this second guy up here. And what we're going to do is today we're going to use the crop option and the cropping option is basically going to allow me to make all these work as one display you'll see how handy that is in just a moment okay so there we have the TV there let's go ahead and create another one There we go. And again, because of the keystone or how skewed everything looks, I just go into my edit grid and you'll see that it allows me to flex the points individually. Now you see how it's kind of snapping and it's rather annoying. We're going to go ahead and shut off the snap surfaces and it'll allow me to really pinpoint that as far as we're going. Now this is currently overlapping. Since I'm going to use a crop option, that's really not going to be a problem. Again, now we're going to create another surface. I see that this guy isn't quite the way I'd like it to. And I need to focus my projector a little bit more. There we go. So now again, we go to the edit grid. We're just going to continue painting that from here. Now, of course, once I load my surface, I may need to remap some of this. Again, if this overlapped in the crop function, it's not going to be an issue. Now, I'm going to show you before and after crop, and I think it'll give you a really cool or a good idea about what this is all about. Again, let's continue making another one. Here we go. And again, with the edit grid. Let's go ahead and take. Okay, so we have that done. Saved. Wonderful. Now, I have, if I go on all surfaces, okay, everything's there and every single output. But now I'm going to go ahead and on my, I'm going to go right over here. Okay, if you see that, I'm going to click on a seventh. And I'm going to insert a mixer. So now, basically, it's going to allow me to have one for the ceiling. Now, does this mean that I have to make a single mixer for every single surface? Not necessarily. So I'm going to go ahead and drag that on there. So now I have a little bit of snow up on the ceiling. And then that means I have to make a surface or uh, I'll put a mixer for every single surface. No. Basically, we're just going to group them together. And here's how. I'm going to go ahead and click on Edit the Mixer, which is right here. And this pops up. And there's a little Output tab. Now you're going to see edit output group. So we're going to create a group, right? I'm going to make a new group. We're going to call it bedroom wall. And we're going to select the surfaces one through seven for the wall. Close. What's going to happen is I go from surface seven to the bedroom wall. And there they are right there. Now how do I make this into a complete image? Well, first thing I want to do is I kind of want to clean up a little bit. Now that I can see what's going on, I'm going to open up my mapper. 
I'm going to clean this up just a bit more. Okay, so with my mapper open, I want to kind of adjust things a little bit, make it look as clean as possible. What I'm going to do is up here on the top, I'm going to see where it says display surface information on full screen. I want to get rid of that. And that gets rid of the red lines. It's really going to allow me to have much better control because the red lines, well, pretty much got in the way of being able to see how well it hit it. So now I can really work on that. I can make sure that all the images are nicely filled. Again, if there's an overlap right now, I'm not worried about it. Again, now it's all about fine tuning it. And I see here this surface really hits that frame. Okay, I can go here and This one here isn't exactly the way I'd like it to, so I'm going to add a couple grid points to allow me to color that. Now you'll see it really distorts the image, but again, it doesn't matter because we're going to use the crop output panel today. Because I want to make this work as one solid surface. Okay, so now we have that there. So how do I make this into one solid surface? Well, this is what a crop panel is for. So we're going to show the crop panel. And this basically is my mapping down here. And over here is the actual image. And what it's doing is it's taking this image and squeezing it into each individual surface. Well, I want to make it fit all of them. So I'm just going to click on copy from output for the surface one. And actually, I'm just going to select all of them, right click, copy from output and there it is right there so you can quickly see what happened it basically filled the image all the way up and now it makes one nice solid image with individual surfaces now you can imagine when you know if you map this twice that means that I could map for example individual if I'm doing video screens I can map four individual screens and then have one long solid screen now, as I'm looking at here, I just saw that this one isn't exactly filling up the screen very nicely either. So I'm just going to go ahead and have that there. And it kind of skews the image. So once I get done with that, I just click on Copy from Output, and it automatically fixes it. So again, it makes one nice big image. You'll see that it's a little bit higher than I'd like it to. So I'm going to later adjust this down a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and exit out of here. Now we have our image that we have so far. We've got a map to the bedroom wall. We've got a map to the ceiling. And I don't like how high these trees are. So it's just as simple as changing the positioning. Now, of course, if, you know, depending on how you have it, you may need to make the image bigger or smaller. Oh, there it is. We have it right there. And it works just like one solid surface, you know. So if I wanted to make one here, because what it does is, it, it doesn't worry, when I copy from the output, it doesn't worry about the image itself. It's just the overall surface. So I can, you know, bring a second one here if I wanted to, right? So I'm going to bring another one there. And there's those pretty stars, or if I wanted to bring more snow in the background here. And then I can take this one, and I can move it over here. So it gives you quite a bit of different ideas that you can do with that. Another option that you can do is I'm going to go ahead and reset this to the full screen. We're going to put this on B. And then I'm going to take this guy here. We're going to reset it to full screen. And I'm going to position it right there where the happy trees are. And the little mixer, the crossfader here, can actually be mapped... There's a little preview there. Let's go ahead and map it over to A. I can have it go back and forth as I'd like it to. So if I wanted to match that, there it goes. And of course, I can group things even more. But it actually did a really nice job of aligning everything. So if I wanted to make it extra snowy, I can do that. Which is really cool if you have maybe like a Winter Wonderland theme and it's a pretty Winter Wonderland and then, you know, right as the bass is about to drop, you bring it down and then the bass kicks in and then you can have it, you know, depending on how your, your crossfader uh, MIDI map, you can do some really cool, unique things with that. You can add uh, effects in there or the strip effect. 
just again to create some really different unique effects in there. The RGB cycle is really cool if you have your lights going along with it too. Your twirl for uh, feedback kaleidoscope. It basically took all my surfaces and just created one big image with them. And to me, that's pretty cool. So again, my name is Arnaldo Offerman on behalf of Arceus Video Manuals. Thank you guys so much. Please make sure to like, subscribe, share with your friends. Uh, today you learned copy from output. There's lots of great tutorials coming soon, little by little. But this is the really important feature which has been requested time after time on how to make one solid display image. So thank you guys so much. Good night and God bless.